It is two days before we leave for our trip up north, and today we are doing a snowmobile trip prep. Here we got my 2019 Pro RMK850. As many of you know, I snow checked the 2022 Chaos Matrix Slash, and it is not going to be here. We are two days out, and there is no sign of the sled. So we are going to be loading this sled, my current sled, into my trailer there. That's my dad's trailer. We're not going to worry about that. We got my mob sled here, which is a 2013 Switchback Adventure 600. I don't think I've showed you guys this. This is pretty new. She just got this, I believe, in the spring. We have not ridden it once yet, so we're going to bring it up north and give it a test ride before my mom rides it. And here we got my dad's sled, which is a 2019 SKS 850. So the plan here is, is I'm going to load my sled into my trailer. Also, once Brandon's dad gets home with his trailer, we're going to take Brandon's sled out of his trailer and put it in mine. Because me and Brandon are heading up earlier than Brandon's dad and my dad are. And we are going to be taking my dad's sled and putting it in Brandon's dad's trailer. And my dad's trailer is staying home. So yeah, kind of confusing. We got a whole bunch of things going on today. This is my tow rig for the trip. My 2011 F350 6.7 Power Stroke. And as I was talking in the previous video, I got a new set of wheels and tires. And I finally picked them up from getting mounted and balanced and all that good stuff. And I'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek before we put them on tomorrow. I want the Firestone Winter Force LT tire. A bit hard to see, but I'm trying to go a little bit different on this wheel set here. So this is a set of Fuel Rebels in the bronze color. So instead of sticking with like black wheels or silver wheels or chrome wheels, I decided to switch it up and throw some bronzes on there. We're going to see how it looks. I think it's going to look killer. But we're going to be slapping these on tomorrow because it's just... Don't have time today, it's too cold, too dark, all that other good stuff. Apologize, this video is literally being shot in the dark. Just with the way the sun sets so early now, and I usually end up working pretty late, I just don't have time to do this stuff in the daylight, so the nighttime is gonna have to do. Oh, you gotta clean that. I know. Oh my god. Ah, uh, it's not gonna clean very well in the cold, though. That's the issue. You'd be better off dusting it off with a microfiber. First pull. Oh, it's been on. Oh, it's warmed up. All right. So we had to take the kitty cat out of my trailer. I forgot that was in there. And I forgot the Raptor was in my trailer. So we had to take the Raptor out of my trailer too. Got to put these in the garage. This sled's got to get loaded into that trailer. Then my sled's got to get loaded into my trailer.
All right, guys, next day of snowmobile prep, and quite honestly, I didn't have time to fill up anything. I got home from work about four o'clock and have been hustling nonstop, and it's 9.30 now at night, and I'm still not done. I still have a few things left to get done. So this video I'm filming right now needs to be edited and uploaded tonight for tomorrow's upload. So I am gonna be up till this gets edited and uploaded so you guys have a video to watch, and yeah, it's 9.30. I gotta be up in four hours to leave for this trip. My sled and Brandon's sled are full of gas. And we installed these new trailer lights in my trailer so we can see what we're doing at night. So these are just Amazon LED little light strips that we 3 m up to the ceiling. We got a little power source battery here with some alligator clips, connected some wires to alligator clips and ran wire all the way down and connected the lights in. So we actually have trailer lights in here, which is super nice. We got the sleds all 100% ready to go. Spark plugs changed in both. Full tanks of fuel, so these are 100% ready to ride tomorrow. Extremely hard to see in the dark, but we did get the new wheels on the truck. So new wheels and tires are on the truck. The truck is 100% ready to go with fuel and all that. All we got left to do is hook the trailer up and I'm gonna put my gear and my clothes and my camera stuff in my truck. And within the next four hours, we will be on our way to the Upper Peninsula of Michigan for the weekend. All right, guys, well, that's gonna end up being a wrap on today's video. I'm honestly exhausted, and I still gotta edit and upload this before I leave in a few hours. Sorry right, for the video being such a mess all over the place in the dark. It is what it is, though. If you guys like today's video, smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. In the comments below, let me know if you're riding this weekend, and if you are riding this weekend, where are you riding at? If you guys are new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The next video you guys see should be a riding video, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something.